this is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? Okay, so I am on BoxingScene.com, and this article says Ruiz Parker approved for WBO belt. Winner must face David Hay. Let me just give a quick uh, my quick opinion about this. First of all, before I start, if you haven't seen my uh, interviews I did with uh, Andy Ruiz, four different um, videos. I'll probably leave those in the description box, but uh, check those videos out and you'll hear what Andy Ruiz thinks about Joseph Parker, the sparring sessions that they had, uh, his game plan to beat Joseph Parker, so on and so forth. Hopefully I can get Joseph Parker interview, man. I'm working on that. But uh, yeah, I like this, you know. Um, and when I talked to Ruiz, him and his team, they seemed pretty confident about this was going to get uh, made, even though, you know, we were kind of waiting and seeing what was going to happen. Uh, this fight is going to be made. So that's it's great news, man. This is great news. Um, now, as far as David Hay getting the winner, he is highly rated by all the damn sanctioning bodies, man. David Hay is a he's a smart, slippery dude, man. This this, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, with his name recognition and David Hay is a good fighter. I know a lot of people that get on him. They don't like him because of just various things him blaming his toe in the klitschko fight him pulling out of different fights uh the situation that just happened with shannon briggs how he promised shannon briggs in front of all the damn media and fans in the arnold jerry jai press conference that he would fight shannon briggs shannon briggs just needed to pa pass a brain scan and fight on his uh undercard when he fought jerry jai he did that now david hay just ignored him and I've been saying this, that David Hay is looking for a title shot. He's not really looking for any type of competitive fight unless it's the title shot. I know Mark DeMore and Arnold Jarek Jai had impressive records, but they pretty much laid down on fight night. And Mark DeMore, before I get to more on Hay, but Mark DeMore was a guy that was actually signed to Don King. Believe it or not, DeMore was going to fight Berman Stavern, but Stavern just opted to go right into the Wilder fight. Has Stavern just fought a voluntary defense uh, rumors? And I remember DeMore was talking about this before he split with Don King. It was going to be Stavern versus DeMore for Stavern's uh, first title shot. Now, all this is according to DeMore. You know, Don King may have something different to say and Bermain Stavern may have something different to say. But I do remember DeMore talking about that. And that was one of the reasons he split from Don King. He wanted a title shot. He couldn't get the Stavern fight right away. Then what's the use really of being with Don King? All right. But anyways, David Hay, he's going to get the, the crack at the winner. Great. I think it'd be a competitive fight. But this just lets me know whoever uh, David Hay is going to fight in December is not going to be a competitive uh, fighter. It's not going to be somebody that's really coming to win. I don't think it's going to be anybody of note. David Hay has went on to say, now this before this got worked out for him to fight the winner of Parker versus um, Parker versus Ruiz. He said that uh, the next opponent. What did he say? What what is the correct? What did he say exactly? I think he said uh, the fans are going to be happy or it's going to be somebody of note or something like that. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Maybe they should make David Hay versus whoever he's going to fight. Maybe make it into a eliminator. You know, and I'm looking at the WBO rankings right now. Obviously, it's going to be Parker versus Ruiz. They're one and three. Parker being number one, Ruiz being rated number three. Clish goes rated number two. So they'll have Parker versus uh, Ruiz. And then uh, David Hay is number four. My thing is, man, instead of just letting this dude, David Hay, just get a title shot. I know, I know for some of you huge David Hay fans, you're going to say, hey, he was a great, he was a really good cruiserweight. He beat uh, Nikolai Valuev, um, a guy who I thought, I thought Valuev lost to Holyfield, but that's neither here nor there. But uh, yeah, he beat Valuev, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get it. I get it. But he just shouldn't be gifted a title shot to fight the winner. Now, some of you are going to argue, well, hell, because I've seen people in uh, other uploaders' comments section say, uh, well, what did Andy Ruiz do to get the title shot? Fair enough. But he's rated highly by the WBO. Him and Parker are the next two uh, highly rated guys because Klitschko seemed like he's going to take the WBA route and try to fight for that vacant title against Lucas Brown. That's the rumor. That's the word right now. Nothing concrete yet. So, logically, to the WBO, hey, the next two rated high guys are um, Parker versus Ruiz. Let's put those guys in the ring, all right? To me, David Hayes shouldn't just have to fight some cream puff and then get a title shot. He should at least 
hey, Huey Fury's right there. He's rated number five. Mishia Wallace is rated number six. If that fight were to get made and it was an eliminator type of thing, he is the next rated highest guy besides Huey Fury. Now, I know a lot of people say, who the hell is this German guy, Mishia Wallace? You know what I mean? But Jarrell Miller's rated number seven. Edmund Gerber's rated number eight. Tom Schwartz rated number nine. Kirbet Pulel is rated number 10. I'm sure he wouldn't fight David Hay. He's talking about defending his EBU title. And that title that Pulev holds, they ordered him to fight Marius Wach, who I thought lost to uh, Marcelo Nascimento in his last fight. I think it's the last days for Wach. He didn't look that good in that fight, all right? Um, number 11 is David Price. 12 is Yuganu. 13, Andre Fedosov. 14, Erkin Tepper, who just got upset by Christian Hammer. And number 15, Ian Lewison. And Lewison and Tepper, both of those guys will not be in the WBO's rankings uh, when they come out with, when they refresh these rankings. But at the very least, man, I know a lot of fans wouldn't want to see it, but I wouldn't mind if it was like a Michelle Wallace or Huey Fury because they're the next rated highest guys. At least just do something that makes sense for David. Hey, please don't dig somebody out of the damn grave. You know, I can't even think of a journeyman name right now. J Jason Gavern or Ivica Perkovic or Paul Butlin or Travis Walker or I just hope it's nobody like that. You know, make it interesting, man. You know, Johan Duopa or something like that. Or No, I think Duopa and Carlos Takam is, is going to fight. I think they're looking at each other. I believe that's who Takam's going to fight is Duopa. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going off the top here, man. So, I don't know, man. Who do you guys think that David Hayes is going to fight next? Um, if it's somebody within the WBO rankings that I just named, I wouldn't be too upset about it. If anything, just fight the next highest rated guy which would be Huey Fury or Michelle Wallace or Jarrell Miller. You know, it is what it is, man. Uh, I'll be looking forward to the winner out of Parker versus Ruiz to fight David. Hey, I think it's an interesting fight when that fight gets made. But as of right now, I still want to see David Hay in there with somebody that's formidable, you know, but I guess we'll see who his opponent selection is going to be. Time is ticking down here. Only got a few, well, like two weeks here left in this month. So uh, we'll see what happens, man. I'm out.